Vice President Biden, whose son Beau died of brain cancer in 2015, is leading the so-called Cancer Moonshot, a U.S. effort to jumpstart cancer research. This shift from individual, individual institutions to collaboration and team science, in my view, is critical to the success of our fight against cancer. Together, we will create and manage QUILT. The centerpiece of the program is QUILT, the quantitative integrative lifelong trial in patients with cancer. It will diagnose and sequence the genetic information of 100,000 patients, ultimately assigning 20,000 of them to immunotherapy trials targeting 20 different types of cancer. A new approach to cancer. The ultimate goal is a vaccine-based immunotherapy, individualized to specific patients and their specific cancers. Little poke, sweetie. Developing that sort of treatment requires looking at the genetic information of lots and lots of people. Information that's regularly collected, but often difficult to access. California, for instance, collects genetic information from every baby born in the state. Those samples are stored here at a facility maintained by the Department of Public Health in Richmond, California. This place is a treasure trove of genetic information. Your average scientific database only offers up the genetic information of maybe a few thousand people at most. But this place has the information of pretty much everyone born in California since 1983. That is millions of people's worth of genetic information. The U.S. government could help open up these sorts of databases and connect them to one another. For instance, the Department of Defense will be making roughly 250,000 samples available from patients treated for cancer and will link to databases at the Environmental Protection Agency to look for environmental factors that may have contributed. It takes substantial infrastructure just to collect and share the data. So, um, you know, these are things like servers and cloud, cloud services. Uh, so they can invest there, but they also can create policies that promote better sharing of data. The next step in this process will arrive in 2017, when the Cancer Moonshot will make final recommendations for initiatives to be funded. At that point, according to the Vice President's timetable, the U.S. will have three years to accomplish a decade's worth of research. Jacob Ward, Al Jazeera, San Francisco.